I'm playing with my Pokeball Plus. And I'm trying to make my Pokemon extremely happy with the way we're playing. Right now, I think it's Clefable that's in there. So this little controller is a really interesting contraption for the Nintendo Switch. But I'm actually here to tell you that this little guy actually ruined my experience with Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. I know I'm sitting here complaining and playing with what looks like a child's toy, but actually this little guy is quite the contraption in terms of its usability and its functionality across multiple platforms. But it really took away from my experience. So why does the Pokeball Plus, in my opinion, ruin the Pokemon Let's Go experience on the Nintendo Switch? Let's find out here in just a second. So the Pokeball Plus is an interesting little parable. On one hand, it's actually an extremely functional controller. On the other, it's a child's toy. One that kind of makes you feel like a Pokemon trainer as you play Pokemon Let's Go Eevee or Pikachu depending on which one you pick up. Of course, you can get this guy bundled in with the game if you so choose, or you can buy it separately after you purchase the game just like I did. I wanted to see how the Pokeball Plus really added to the immersion of the Pokemon Let's Go games. And what I found at first was a pretty damn awesome little controller. But after playing with it and its true functionality with the game for about two or three days, I noticed right away that it was detracting from my experience from the Let's Go games. Why, you ask? And, and before we go on, I know, I'm a grown-ass man-child sitting here complaining about a tiny little parable, again, that makes me feel like a Pokemon trainer in a series that I've enjoyed since I was a kid. But see, the Pokeball Plus actually has two functions. First and foremost, the controller functionality, with this nifty little joystick right here in the center. At the same point, it also serves as a Pokemon Go parable that connects to your cell phone and allows you to spin Pokestops and also catch Pokemon on the go as well. No, no pun intended. But its real design was for the game itself. And Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu actually benefit greatly when you're in the game itself from this little parable. So let's take a peek. So, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee really controls with just a couple of buttons. The A button, which is served by clicking in the joystick itself, and a B button, which actually resides on the top of the Pokeball, right here with the soft spot. When you get into catching a Pokemon, it really does add to the immersion of the game. Simply by clicking in on the button and then tossing the Pokeball at the Pokemon you're trying to catch. Pretty cool, right? As a Pokemon enthusiast, like I always have been, the repetitive gameplay loop makes it extremely enticing to use something like this. But its true functionality actually comes when you take a Pokemon from the game here and you place it into the Pokeball Plus, just like you saw me do when I first walked in playing it to begin with. You can put whatever Pokemon you've caught from your library inside the ball itself. Which again, really makes you feel like a Pokemon trainer when all of a sudden, in your pocket, a Pokemon calls out for you to interact with it. It's also slightly terrifying. But at the same point, when doing so, you actually earn XP for whatever Pokemon you actually are storing in the Pokeball based on the steps that you're taking. And that right there 
is where the detraction from the experience of Let's Go really comes into play. See, what's always made Pokemon such a great series is the RPG elements that it keeps in its back pocket as part of the childlike experience that it always has given you. But when you're adding in the steps and leveling up your character so much, sometimes as much as 10 levels, just with a day's worth of walking and play with your Pokemon inside the Pokeball Plus, it actually makes your characters so overpowered that the game actually loses even more of its luster. Because of the merger between Pokemon Go and the mainline Pokemon series, in what resulted in Pokemon Let's Go, the same immersion that we've come to expect from the mainline Pokemon games was already slightly watered down. By just battling trainers to try and further the story, and really not battling Pokemon as you go through the game in random encounters, the game actually becomes much more simplistic when you're facing off against characters very early on that are 10, 11, 12, and sometimes as much as 15 levels lower than you. Because no matter what Pokemon you choose at that point, the strategy is literally out the window. It's just a simple click of a button or two, and you're all done with the battle and on to the next moment. See, Pokemon Let's Go actually, to me, was a great introduction on the Nintendo Switch for Pokemon fans and fans that Nintendo is looking to bring over to the Pokemon series when the new mainline game launches more than likely towards the end of this year around Christmas time. But this little ball, Nintendo, for most people that are over the age of 10 years old, really actually isn't a great value and really should be avoided at all costs. See, I'll use it because I have it, because I spent the money on it. But at the same point, I would strongly urge you all to not necessarily buy a Pokeball Plus unless you're going to use it with its functionalities with Pokemon Go to spin Pokestops along the way and catch Pokemon if you're truly still into that experience. Outside of that, it's really just something that's better served left on your shelf. Because once you start with this guy and you start to level up your Pokemon, sure, you can play the game by itself with just the controller and not actually use any of the functionality to store Pokemon in there. But then really, why don't you just use the Joy-Con itself? So after my experience, the game itself has really lost a lot of the fun factor. And this little Pokeball will be used in its time until I decide to get rid of the game and trade it in, which is actually, unfortunately, probably sooner rather than later. Because of the loss of the strategy in the game that the Pokeball Plus presents. So, in all, the Pokeball Plus is a pretty cool little device. When you look at it from the technological standpoint, in the many ways you can use it, but its true hook is putting the Pokemon inside this little ball and carrying it with you where you go. But at the same point, it's where it actually ruins the Pokemon Let's Go game. So I'd like to know what you guys think. Do you have a Pokeball Plus in your library that you're using with Pokemon Let's Go? Why do you like it or why do you dislike it? Sound off in the comments below. I want to know what your experiences are like. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for more great content from Dumbbells and Joysticks just like this. So remember guys, work hard, play hard, and I'll see you guys right back here real soon.